The time has come once again to answer life's most savory question. Whose cuisine reigns supreme? This is Tin Chef America. Delectable Florida tradition has taken root in American soil. We've been graced with the establishment of our own patio kitchen stadium, where our nimble chairman brought together the pungent flavors of the Caribbean and Florida. It is here where the best of the best from around Florida meet and face the ultimate gourmet challenge. Today we're gonna to delve into the world of the art of cooking competition. Let's meet the participants. Tin Chef Eric Weber of Peggy O'Neill's, Tin Chef Tim Thompson of the Tuscany Grill, and resident Tin Chef Bill Shrebs of St. Larry's. And now the key to the cooking competition, the secret ingredient. This is the theme on which the chefs will offer up their succulent variations. And joining me is John Lewis. Hey, Larry. Who has picked the secret ingredient? Yes, I have. And I did something that's very popular, you know, when you think about Florida and all that sort of stuff, right. Flora Bean. All right. So we're going to go with a secret ingredient of a, tri of a trio of seafoods. We got sea bass, we got scallops, and we got shrimp. Uh oh and the vegetable side is going to be bok choy. And now America, with an open heart and an empty stomach, not to mention an empty wallet, I say unto you in the words of my uncle, let's get cooking! So let's see what they're grabbing here. They got peppers. Well, John, you picked out a floor bean type cuisine, is that correct? That's correct, yep. Flora bean, but we also have a full pantry here, so they can pick any of these vegetables. I see. You'll notice that uh, this chef over here is working on his sea bass first, because that's going to take the longest probably to cook. Uh, Bill over here has picked up the bango, so he's going to really run with that flora bean thing. Chef Tim's working the uh, seafood already. Well, he's working on his vegetables, though. He's got a zucchini and a couple of uh, plum tomatoes there. Yeah, I would think he's going to do the vegetables on the grill. I would think he's going to do the seafood in the pan. Right, so what are we looking at here? 13 minutes. 13 challenge. minutes, wow. Actually, uh, one of the chefs challenged the others to do it in 13 this minutes. This will probably so. take me an hour. <laughs> and you'll notice Eric has got his um, uh, scallops and uh, shrimp on the kind of side panel of right. the grill, because those won't take as long, and right. he'll then probably finish them on the grill. Gentlemen, you have about 10 minutes left, okay? Now, are the judges uh, going on presentation? We mainly just focus on taste for this. Well, they're gonna do it on three uh, bases. Uh, presentation, originality, and taste. Taste will be 50% of the score. Got some um, chili pepper. Yeah. Right. Not too hot. Thank Salt. goodness. Salt. A little over four minutes. Okay, we're creating the plates now. Good. Larry, we've got two minutes left, That's and they're really ago. hustling. Yeah. You think they'll make it? Oh, I think so. I think sure, so. they're, they're, they're pretty well, yeah. pretty well established. These are professionals, of course. <laughs> All right, All this right. is uh, Chef Eric's plate. Just do it for me. Okay, this is Chef Bill's plate. Look at the color he has going on there. Yellows, reds, greens. Sea bass St. Larry. Sea bass St. Larry. Oh. All right, in honor of the He's restaurant. Good. Well, um, this was a real challenge in 13 minutes, though, oh, by the sure. way. Sure, definitely. Yeah. Just say, and I understand we have a winner. We do, and it was a very, very close contest between all of them. They did a fabulous job, but Chef Eric Weber won the competition. Chef Eric Weber, Peggy O'Neill. You went with the, uh, explain what you did, the TNT. The TNT, I did the island spin with some uh, Jamaican jerk spices on the seafood, grilled it, little uh, island black beans, barbecued, and then uh, the bok choy I did with a little cinnamon and uh, You gotta come out and check out a cooking up online. We'll see you next time on Larry's Good Eats.